think they're coming now, so. Good morning. <laughs> Will you please join me in the call to worship? Our hearts are yours, O God. May our praises truly be a blessing to you, God. Okay, now can we all join in hymn 593, Here I Am, Lord.
welcome each other this cold, brisk winter morning? Okay, I guess it's time for the announcements. Um, we do have the volleyball concession stand Tuesday. I didn't look this morning to see if everybody signed up, so you might check it on the way out. Is it full? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> um, we also have our soup supper Friday night, and there are a few empty spots. We need some chili, um, some other things, so if you want to check that out, please. And there's also a list back there for prayer partners, if anyone is interested in doing the prayer partners again this year. Are you doing Strengthening Families? Yes. Okay. okay, and there will be a Strengthening Families meeting today. Questions, ask Ruth. Uh, there will be a finance meeting Wednesday at 7 at the church office, and the men's breakfast Saturday morning at 8. Does anybody else have any other announcements? Anybody else? Okay, it is time for the cherubs. And I want to thank all of you guys for bringing them out because I know the weather was iffy. We're missing some, but we've got most of them and we are so grateful.
What's that? We have a hymn now. Okay, now shall we sing hymn 526, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Okay, now we will have the scripture. The first one is from Job chapter 23, verses 1 through 9. Then Job answered, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his dwelling. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, but he would give heed to me. There an upright person could reason with him, and I should be acquitted before ever by my judge. If I go forward, he is not there, or backward, I cannot perceive him. On the left, he hides, and I cannot behold him. I turn to the right, but I cannot see him. And the second reading is Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the woods of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved, in you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me, they make mouths at me, they shake their heads. 
Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. And now we have a drum solo by Miss Madison Siegfried. Spencer. <laughs> now if the ushers will come forward, we'll receive the tithes and offering. The heaven shall declare the glory of his name all creation bows at the coming of the king every eye shall see every heart will know Every knee will bow, every tongue confess, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. See The heavens shall declare the glory of his name. All creation bow at the coming of the King. Every eye shall see. Every heart will know, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. See
Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for these blessings which you have bestowed upon us. Please help them to be used for the furtherance of thy word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, now it's page 2040 in the little hymnal, Our God is an Awesome God, and if you would like to stand... Well, it's time for the joys and concerns. Does anyone have any joys? Vicki? That is good. God is good. Ruth? We don't have a foot of snow. <laughs> that is true. Anyone else? Sandy? Anyone else? Well, I'm thankful for the cherubs and their parents. You know, we have 27 cherubs, and with this weather, it was kind of iffy. Parents brought them out. They showed up. They did great. And each week with them is a blessing. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. When you're having a bad day and you come and they have smiles, that's all it takes. Even if they are ornery smiles. Anyone else? Okay, concerns. And there is an address for Hattie Terry on there. I'm sure she would appreciate receiving cards from home. Um, she had amputations of her legs, and so I'm sure she would appreciate that. Raj Applegate is in Denver. Um, Sherry or Colleen sent me a message the other day, said they still didn't know what was going on. I don't know if anybody's heard anything different or not. Anyone else? Pastor said I was supposed to do his job, but I didn't, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, shall we bow our heads in a moment of silent prayer? Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with so many blessings that are unspoken in our hearts. Um, we thank you for those. Be with all of those who are sick and need your healing touch, whether it be mental, physical, emotional. We all have struggles in this life. Um, please be with our country as it's being torn and divided. Um, help us to get back on the right, right track as a country and also as a church. Each church struggles with different things. Help us to focus on the true meaning of our church, what church is about, and help us to heal. 
And once again, thank you for all the blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, I can take his place. I'm disorganized. <laughs> okay, page 2272 in the small hymnal. The next scripture comes from Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 through 16. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And the next scripture is Mark chapter 7, verses 17. As he was sitting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to them, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. He said to him, Teacher, I have kept all those since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words, but Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. 
They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age, houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children in fields with persecutions, and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first.
suspense. <laughs> okay, now we're going to send out a personal invitation, um, begging, whatever you want to call it. See our small numbers up here? I know some of you can sing. Practices are Wednesday from 5.30 to 6. If you can't make practice, you can still sing on Sunday. So, I hope God puts that upon your heart because we really need our choir. And we all second that. Okay, okay page 707, Hymn of Promise. 